What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO MTS Nutrition, and Exos Trainer. Shout out. Got some new watches from SwoleOclock.com. These two right here. Here's my Jupiter. I got watches on watches on watches. I feel like a dude in New York wearing that jacket selling watches on the street. Anyway, it's SwoleOclock.com, coupon code Lobliner. SwoleOclock.com, coupon code Lobliner. And this is the new camo series. I think this one is badass. Anyways, guys. <clears throat> Missed this question last time, but let's get right to it, man. Let's answer some questions. Let's help you all reach your goals. Scott Charleston. Mark, a question about insurgent, tyrant, and TRT therapy. Currently on TRT for extremely low testosterone. Has been a huge roller coaster. Have gone from zero libido to high and back again. Started taking tyrant. That seems to help with the estrogen regulation. I'm getting another blood test this week. I just ordered insurgent. Hoping it will help with, us with sex drive issues. What do you think? And will there be any bad interactions with insurgent and tyrant combo? Sorry for the long questions. First of all, there's no interactions with any of my products. Insurgent, Tyrant, Stack with Peak Physicor coming on Monday, Barracuda, all work perfect and synergistically together. I make things to work together. Um, insurgent, it might help with your um, might help with your libido issues. As far as when you're on TRT, it might help with that up and down. My question is, why is it up and down? Is your doctor injecting you every two weeks? Um, how is this going? Because if you're getting injections every week, you're looking at about a 16-day life, half-life for uh, enanthate or cypionate testosterone. I'm wondering why you're going up and down. He should be administering your testosterone every week. If he's not, go see another doctor or an endocrinologist, a.k.a. a specialist. This one comes from um, Jeff Jevnikar. How many injuries have you had during your competitive bodybuilding career? And how do you keep your joints and ligaments healthy training so heavy, aside from machine motion? Jeff, I do a lot of, uh, a lot of recovery things. You know, I do a lot of um, foam rolling, a lot of uh, pin rolling, a lot of um, hip and mobility work with the mini bands. I am living the recovery life. I now do the hot, cold contrast showers, as you saw on this very YouTube channel. Um, my joints, honestly, they're not the best, but going to a four day training split, not only do am I bigger and strong, I've never looked this good in my life. I believe peak physical has a little to do with it lately because I've never been this dry and hard and full all day long. Like I am always, always on point. That was for the screenshot. So, I mean, I, I think that might help. Um, obviously, a higher fat diet. I have very high fats in my diet. I eat a lot of avocado, a lot of whole eggs. For breakfast, for example, I have three whole eggs and avocado. That's all I have. I don't have carbs other than post-workout and before bed. So I fill my diet with a lot of cashews, a lot of nuts, a lot of eggs, a lot of, a lot of salmon, a lot of things like that. So I'm really in tune with keeping my joints in shape because, dude, I'm getting older. I'm 36 years old. I train hard. I train heavy. I run, which is very hard on the joints when I do my athletic training. And, dude, I want to keep doing this into my 70s. And God damn it, I will. I feel amazing. My heart rate, my heart rate, my blood pressure, heart rate was 43 yesterday. My blood pressure is 160 over 63. No, I'm sorry, 110 over 63. My heart rate my blood pressure is 110 over 63 for a 240 pound man. I do a lot of cardio. I keep the blood flowing, man. I am all about it. I got to tell you the hot, cold, um, hot, cold, uh, contrast shower has been helping. Um, the higher fat diet's been helping and training only four days a week with weights helps tremendously, but I train hard as fuck from Danny Kimber thoughts on nootropics been reading into some of the common compounds. Not sure whether they're safe to take. All you have to do is look at mental jewels. Ambrosia mental jewels is the greatest Greatest uh, brain brain product on the market. Mental Jewels is not only using research proven and dosed ingredients, uh, but it's also so well thought out that there's nothing redundant about it. Go ahead and try it out. It's Ambrosia Mental Jewels. It's a company I own alongside Mike Rashid and Sean Torbati. Ambrosia Mental Jewels is available on TigerFitness.com right now. Andrew Smith, how often should you adjust macros when cutting? For instance, my macros had had me losing two pounds per week, but the past week or so I've hit a plateau. That would be the, now would be the time. I check in my clients every week. I want to maintain it so you lose one to two pounds a week. Um, how you drop calories, again, 
a protein should be at a gram per pound. Fat should be at about 0.5 grams per pound of body weight or even 0.3 um, would be sufficient. And then carbs are the variable. It depends on the diet and how to drop your carbohydrate, how to drop your calories. A good resource is dropfactorbook.com, dropfactorbook.com. It shows you how I do it while utilizing diabetic exchange, which I believe just works a lot better than macros because it's just easier. You don't have to think as much. And honestly, when I'm dieting, last thing I want to fucking do is think. <clears throat> Recent fat burns have included 3,5-dialdo-L-thyronine in their formula. What are your thoughts on the safety of this? Can find limited research. From what I understand, it's not. I haven't seen any negative safety. Um, however, I am not sold on its safety and efficacy, which is why I'm not using it in my products. I would just say basically don't bother with it. I still like, again, when I formulate something like, oh, you're just selling us your products. When I make a product, it's going to be the best fucking product in my mind. So if I'm gonna recommend something, I'm gonna drop factor, maybe send your hand bite on top, and some tyrant at night. That's what I recommend. Again, that ingredient, while I don't think it's inherently unhealthy, I think that it hasn't been de it hasn't been vetted as healthy, at least not in my mind. Chris Riley, can you explain the difference between losing weight and getting lean? I noticed while dieting that sometimes I'm losing weight, but not necessarily body fat, if that makes sense. That actually makes no sense at all, um, Chris. What it means is that you're probably going lower carb, which means that your body is holding less carbs in the muscle, intramuscular glycogen. So when you're lower carb, you appear to be losing just weight, but in reality, you're losing fat. Don't confuse lacking intramuscular glycogen with lacking body fat. Okay, with lacking fat loss. So I don't think that's the issue. Um, it doesn't really make sense. And as long as using one to two pounds a week and you're training heavy with weights and you're stimulating those muscles, I don't think muscle loss is gonna be a huge issue for you. Um, Mark Gagliano, does consuming BCA put you in a, out of a fasted state? When adhering to intermittent fasting, can you drink BCA in the non-feed window? Thanks for your reply. You can do whatever you want because it's your diet, but however, even though um, BCAA per the FDA does not contain calories because it is not a whole protein source, because it is just a component of protein being three of the BCAAs that form a protein molecule, I still believe that you are not fasted because you are taking in macronutrients. And while we can argue all day up and down and blue in the face if they contain calories, BCAA do contain calories. However, I keep it as a fixed variable in my diet so they never change. So I don't count them. Like this is machine fuel. I drink it all day, but I don't change this no matter what. It's pretty consistent between two and 10 scoops a day. It is what it is. So with that said, you are not in a fasted state if you're drinking BCAA because they are nutritive. Does it matter? No, I actually think it'll enhance the effects of intermittent fasting, to be honest with you. Richard Corley. Hey, when taking insurgent and barracuda at the same time, should I take them at different times of day or does it not matter? Doesn't matter. You could take them both pre-workout. You could take barracuda in the morning and in the afternoon. You could take insurgent in the afternoon. Bottom line is just get them in your body. Just put it in your mouth. I said your motherfucking mouth. Mark, I know you're a high volume guy, but what do you think about high intensity, low volume training? I've been a Dorian training fan for years. You just need a great training partner. You need to be cognizant of perfect form to avoid injuries. Um, this one, I'm not, I, I think it's fine. Dorian did well on it. I used to do it a long time. I actually have training programs um, written about that. So you might want to check that out. I have done a lot of work on it and I've trained with Dorian and I love it. Preference on leg, from David Zalucha. Preference on leg day, once a week or twice a week, quad hamstring. It's 50% of your body. It should be 50% of your training. If you're training four days a week, do, do lower body push one day and lower body pull the next. What are some of the biggest issues you face with nutrition clients? Honesty and consistency and wanting things right now. I am not a crash dieter. I am a lifestyle dieter. I will teach you how to diet. If you're getting ready for a show, I will do my best to keep you from getting the deleterious health effects involved in prepping while getting you in shape. But at the end of the day, you need to adhere to the diet. You don't lie to me about what you eat. And, uh, and you need to just um, honestly... <laughs> You honestly just need to nut up and tell me if something's wrong. And also second guessing. If I do something, I feel it's right. By going and asking another trainer, that's not going to do anything because I don't agree with 90. I won't even, if somebody goes to me, my coach told me this. I'm usually like, talk to your coach about that because you got to have trust between your coach and your client. So the main issues I have with nutrition clients are adherence, um, truthfulness, and, um, and honestly, um, just not second guessing. <clears throat> From Colin Zollers, 
What is your opinion on fermented BCAs and using her human hair and animal urine for regular BCAs? Some cut using. First off, for the record, we use vegan fermented BCAA in machine fuel. Secondly, nobody uses urine for BCA. I don't know where the fuck you got that or what fucking fake news you got that from, but that doesn't work. Human hair and duck feathers have been used. Hum uh, duck feathers more or less. I haven't heard of human hair, but it's really hard. You'll be really hard pressed to find non-fermented BCA on the market. It's pretty much shifted to all fermented. Saying fermented doesn't mean shit because they could be lying to you. All I know is that I use the IBCAA from Compound Solutions, which is a vegan BCAA um, made through fermentation, produced through fermentation. Let's go one more. Michael Riggins, on my current split, I train legs on Monday and back on Wednesday. Would it be effective deadlift, deadlift on back day or better, dead, dead, or better to deadlift on leg day along with squats? Um, I honestly think your best bet <clears throat> is on Friday to do lower body pull and deadlift then. I only see one leg day for you per week and that's not enough. Deadlift on Friday, do legs on um, Monday and you'll be good to go. Stop being a pussy, train hard and heavy, do legs twice a week. Guys, thanks for watching. New episode coming soon. And that's not a game. So I'm looking at my email this morning. I get a mass email from one of the other sites that sell supplements that you're just a number to, right? They were bragging that one supplement line was free shipping. Bro, if you order over $99 in product in the continental US any day of the week, free shipping anywhere in the US, at continental USA, free shipping on orders over $99 at tigerfitness.com. Why even look at the other guys? And also, we ship from Vegas and Ohio. Most places in the US are a one to two day ship. And that's not a game.